longest timeline. Uh, film podcast. Hello and welcome to the Darkest Timeline. I'm David. I'm Brett. I'm Ian. I'm Dylan. And this week we watched a movie that put the Batman franchise on ice. Oh, God. I thought you were going to say put it tits up. That would have worked, too. We watched yeah. Batman and Robin. Yeah. Also, I would like to say welcome to season two of The Darkest Lo- Timeline. Yay! The comic book season. Well, the comic movie. The movie based on comic book season. We're watching different movies. We thought, what better of a movie than Batman and Robin to kick it off? Boy, we're we right. <laughs> Wait, who's we? You decide. You you brought that up. Oh yeah. We had plenty of other movies. Yeah, we Brett wasn't even here for two weeks. <laughs> Who wants to give us the plot of the movie? You do it. You do Dylan. it every week. It's your thing. Is it? Yeah, it is. You've done it for like that's four weeks. That's because no one else wanted to do it. Well, you just start. It's your thing. That's not. I didn't just start. Yeah. You know, how about you just start right now? <sighs> I don't even remember what happened. So Batman. Kind Batman of. and Robin have nipples now. Oh, yeah. That's uh, literally the start of the movie. Mm-hmm. That's well, that uh, and ass shots. Yeah, there's, uh, there's, there's shots of them putting on their costumes and very close-up shots. I like the cheeks. Uh, very very close-up shots of various parts of their bodies, yeah. clad in leather. So you could be excused for thinking you accidentally started watching the wrong movie. It looked more like a rubber silicone thing to me. Yeah. Which is kind of weird because, you know, like, if they're sweating, it's just sticking in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, well, I they bet probably nobody... have some kind of mesh inside that I keeps hope so. breathable. You otherwise, think this movie had that kind of money behind it? Well, otherwise, Batman's socks are just soaking wet on the bottom. They're just... They're well, wet. who says he's wearing socks? I mean, who says they're wearing anything under those? Well, Ian's got imagination running wild right now. Anyway. So, uh, Batman and Robin... Go off to fight Victor Freeze, who is stealing diamonds from a, a, a museum. I'm sorry, you're starting this off way too slow. This has to last a lot. Yeah, but no, real yeah. quick. Was, no, his, no, no, was no. his last name already Freeze? Yeah, yeah, his it's last name Victor Freeze. Freeze. Victor Freeze. Kind of a huge coincidence, isn't it? Come on, Pamela Isley, Poison Ivy. I didn't get that until just now. Really? Yeah. Really? That's been her name in the comics for, yeah. you know, 70 years or something. I've not been a big Poison Harleen Ivy fan. Harleen Quinzel, Harley Quinn. Come on, oh, Harlequin, geez. like a clown. Oh, guys, you just, please, you're just, stop. Yeah. Hey, she wasn't in this movie. That would have made it good. Well, not no, necessarily. That, that would have made it confusing because the Joker wasn't in it. Also, she might have not been introduced yet. No, she wasn't. No. Or at least she wasn't introduced into anything but the animated series. We've anyway. gone off topic. So, so back to the plot. Uh, Batman and Robin go off to fight Victor Freeze, who is stealing diamonds from a... Museum? museum. Yeah. Museums have large diamond exhibits oh, in yeah. Gotham oh, because yeah. everything is large diamond <laughs> exhibits in Gotham. <laughs> and uh, Victor Freeze wins, and uh, Robin's a belligerent <laughs> uh, And Robin looks like Nightwing in this movie. Cause I think not? he did in the last one, too. I think he had his little R, though, in the last one. Yeah, and I thought he had an R circle. Let's yeah, make the yeah. synopsis fast, because yeah. it's super uh, boring. God, there's so much crap that just happened in this well, we'll movie. Get, we'll get to that, yeah. I mean, no, I mean, like, they, you know like, what? There, there was so much, like, in quotes plot. They yeah. just, just it, they fired one after another. Um, the movie's been out for, like, 19 years. Yeah. Cut it down. People yeah. have uh, seen it. Bane maybe. and Ivy. Bane and, uh, Bane and Poison Ivy are created, and they, they team up for... Who knows? Various reasons, and there are they, not, there are not various reasons. Um, there are no reasons. <laughs> uh, but Victor Freeze wants to bring his wife back to life because she has McGregor's syndrome, which I'm pretty sure isn't a real thing. <laughs> Stage four. Stage four. Oh, McGregor syndrome. Because it's the worst. How many stages are there? Like sixteen? No, I there's think only it's, three. No, there's four. <laughs> was, um, no, that's why it's so serious. And poison ivy, <laughs> and poison ivy wants to kill humanity and and take over the world with plants. So they team up to take down Batman. And, uh, and, and and freeze the world and become lovers or something. And they're defeated. And and also, um, Alfred's niece, who is somehow... Alicia Silverstone, no. Who is, well, who is somehow uh, Barbara Gordon, renamed Barbara Wilson in this movie. I'll get into that later. Yeah. Uh, uh. God. Uh, is, is, and becomes Batgirl just out, of, out of nowhere, mm-hmm. pretty much, and, uh, and helps him out. Uh, helps Batman and Robin out, and they uh, they triumph. Yeah, and Alfred has uh, 
Stage McGregor. one McGregor's. Yeah. Uh, which has, Mr. Freeze had successfully learned to cure, yeah, which we learned and earlier. And keeps the cure on his person at all times. I do these and call me in the morning. You can talk about that later, Brent. <laughs> uh, and, that should and, be your favorite part. And then uh, the Alfred is cured, and uh, and then they're a big happy family together. Yep. Because all conflict has been resolved. Big and, happy bat family. And the, the, the final shot. Freeze is going to go and kill uh, Poison Ivy because mm-hmm. Poison Ivy killed his wife. And the final shot is all three of the main heroes running as fast as they can away from this movie. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and that's that's that's. And that's Joel Schumacher's Batman and Robin for you. Yeah. Good for Joe. Uh, so, so there's a bunch of no, things to talk well, about, guys. Yeah, Let's just I gotta start run, off run with, through. like, when I was a little kid, I went and saw this movie in the theaters. By the way, you say little kid, what age do you mean? F*** you. Just tell me. 13. It was 13. Was I was, was 6. Woof. <sighs> do you remember being 6? I remember my first memory, I believe, is from before I turned 4. Just before. Ian, this is not a therapy session. It has nothing to do with therapy. My dad bought me pink balloons. He knew it was a boy. (laughs) Why'd he do that? I want to say the beginning uh, scene where they're, like, ice skating and they have, like, the Mighty Ducks that come out and all that stuff. Right. And he keeps doing all the puns. It seemed like like a Waterworld spectacular, like, show from, like, Universal Studios. You know, where it's, like... Explosions and guys jumping and like swinging in and why well, don't you uh, fix them thing? I didn't hate this movie this time. It got better somehow. We all hate you. Though. Are you saying that you saw it when you were thirteen? You yeah. didn't say fifteen. You didn't, fifteen. Or, you didn't yeah. say what, what? What? What about that? Well, everyone just thought that was boring, so I just moved on. <laughs> no, we didn't think it was boring. We were just trying to get you to say your age. Yeah, because you want to age shame me. Yes. He was 15, by the way. 13. It was 13. No, I was 13. What? Yeah. Oh, you were 15. Oh, right. Dave's the oldest guy He's the in the teenager podcast. This I'm going to be the youngest guy once I kill all of you. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, you're going to need to find other people that are willing to do a podcast with you in jail, though. Good I'm, luck finding a new editor. I'm Ooh, pretty that's a great sure, podcast. Jailcast. I'm pretty sure prison would be right with people wanting to get messages out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Be using code terms. That's true. I feel like we've gone off track. Oh, yeah. yeah. Batman and okay. Robin. Batman and Robin. It sucked when I was a kid. I was offended of it, f- offended by it when I was a kid because it wasn't Tim Burton's ones. I know Batman Forever came out before this, but... Who directed that one? Same guy. Joel Schumacher? Yeah. yeah. Oh. But this one just went so far... Yeah, I mean, he just marathoned the Adam West Batman before making this one. Yeah. Right. And was like, I can take it further. Yeah, yeah. While, while, like, snorting huge lines of cocaine. Just, no, well, oh, my God. That was just Hollywood. Oh, well, yeah. That's where all the snow metaphors came from. Oh, I said there's nothing worse than your uh, basic bad guy who talks only in puns. Uh, and that was everybody except oh, yeah. for Bane. Yeah. I got to say, though... If you're going to have a bad guy that just talks in puns, you might as well have Arnold Schwarzenegger doing Oh, absolutely. That. <laughs> At least that was a home run right there. Yeah. He did great. I think he was the best actor in this entire movie. And his makeup was awesome. Uh, it was awesome. It was yeah. way on Those point. eyes were popping. Meanwhile, coming. Bane's makeup was f***ing terrible. Yeah. yeah. Bane looked like something I dressed up as for Halloween when I was a kid. <laughs> Just this fake-looking skin with yeah. drawn-on veins. Yep. <laughs> big muscle suit. It's like, I swear I'm strong. Yeah, it's definitely like a dollar store Halloween costume. Get that gravel out of your throat, honey. Yeah, <laughs> where, whereas Arnold Schwarzenegger kind of walked through Red Sonja, mm-hmm. and this one... He ran through it. He, he gets today's uh, MVP award slash... Spirit of Bullseye Award. Mm-hmm. Spirit of Bullseye. Award. Yeah, like really chewing the scenery. Also really a enjoying comic book it. movie. Yeah, yeah, he he loved his job, and he that, put his heart that, into that, it. That, yeah, that, that his heart. Yeah, we loved him in this movie. He was awesome. He was fun. Oh, also in that beginning scene, they had shoes, and then just a little like you know Dorothy Hill click. They got skates. Oh yeah, ice oh, skates yeah. too. Not even rollerblades. Don't like how the hell did they know which one they needed? Don't you have those? Well, I gave them up in the 90s, guys. Well, yeah. That used to be cool. Now it's no longer cool like Jayco's. One, one click for ice skates, two clicks for rollerblades. Oh, you know my, the deal. My mom was poor. Three I only had the, for roller skates. You got to be prepared for everything. I only had the one click. It's just the ice skate. Four uh, clicks for Heelys. <laughs> <laughs> soap shoes. Remember soap okay. shoes? I need to say, yes. when, when I was six when this movie came out, 
this movie was awesome. This movie was just really cool. Yeah, yeah, of course, we didn't know how to be human beings yet. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. I hadn't learned special things like good taste or right. empathy, any empathy. But uh, and or and then what Batman was. And then I came to a point where I I, I realized what Batman was supposed to be and had like read good Batman comics and seen good Batman movies and and realized that movie was. Not the best adaptation of Batman. Yeah. And grew grew to loathe it. And now, since I've seen it, I have a different mindset surrounding it. And it's just kind of there. And I'm like, they did what they set out to do. And I respect that as much as they screwed up the Batman property. They, they set out to do a bad thing. <laughs> and they, they did a bad thing. See, but they did what they yeah, wanted to do. They misunderstood cinema. They misunderstood Batman. They misunderstood the movie-going audience. They misunderstood how CGI should be used. They misunderstood <laughs> nipples. <laughs> they did not misunderstood... Buns. Stood, uh, they, Stand. They understood nipples. <laughs> they were very anatomically correct. But they were not practical. Wait, they're anatomically correct? What the f*** do your nipples look like, man? They're well, like, like huge, weird, perfectly whole... circled, like rubber knobs. What yours aren't? Whoa! <laughs> and what do you mean? That's they—they they did exactly what Brett, they set out to do. Brett, like, how big are your areolas? I'm not gonna get into this, guys. Welcome to areola talk with. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're afraid, <laughs> so afraid of being. Here. You're afraid of being areola <laughs> shamed. Areola shamed. <laughs> Are, are we talking like ra- oh, wait? Are we talking radius or diameter? Oh, I don't know. Are we going full inch, half inch? I, Where I'm, you at? I'm gonna bet Brett's areolas are like pepperonis. Ooh. Let me tell you. We're not going into this any further. Uh, you had a question for me, Brett? Uh, yeah, I don't understand what you mean, that they set out to do what they wanted to do. Like, I felt like, uh, yeah, okay, so he, so Joel Schumacher captured the image he wanted. Yes. But I felt like he set out to make a good movie. He thought he was making a great no, film. No, he set out to make the movie he wanted to make. Right, which he thought was going to be great. And a well, blockbuster. Yeah, but, and but he like, was wrong. He was right, wrong. So, he was wrong about, about the views of the audience and the general right, public. Right. But he made a movie that he thought was good at the time. Right. He made a movie that, if it was made in the time of Adam West Batman, would have been more well-received. Aside from all the sexual puns, possibly. Well, yeah, I mean, Tim Burton's version's coming out first just blew it out of the water. Oh, yeah. It's not, it's not good. It's but it's terrible. not... I, it's not terrible. I've, I've very, the terrible is a very powerful word that I reserve for movies like Freddy Got Fingered. Well, that's not terrible. That's, like, evil. <laughs> I don't usually use the word evil when talking about yeah, movies. Should. I put Freddy Got Fingered in terrible. We have different cat- uh, classifications, you sure, know. Sure. I, I think this movie is the definition of what we're seeking out to find. Yeah. Which are big budget movies that are swings and misses. Oh, yeah. This I mean, like, was a swing uh, and a miss. No, it was a swing and a miss, and a swing and a miss, and a swing and a strikeout. Yeah. And a well, swing and a nipple. I mean, the, the, the pitcher forgot to throw the ball, but they still swung anyway. <laughs> that's, that's, how, that's how much they missed. Yeah. But I didn't, I didn't hate it because it was trying to do a callback comic book movie. Like Joel yeah. Schumacher heard comics, and he went straight for like oh. some campy stuff. He said, "This is what absolutely." We're do. He put whoops and queues in there, like when oh, they would knock yeah. over a guy. That yeah. was not. I wrote. I had, a, I had a note here. That is such a like cut out portion right. of the time of Batman just well, like the f- this is the time when Batman was dumb and he's like f- let's f- that into a movie there's the f- surfs up scene surfs up and they oh, jump no, on the cow- rocket cow- 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 cowabunga is a later one though right. but he said that in the same scene I know but still it's like this is terrible yeah that was when you um, keep using that word but it is I wrote down cowabunga f- you <laughs> like that's so stupid I feel like your classifications are terrible and terrible leads right up until the beginning of genius, and it's like, you have like the wow. king's speech is like up there at like genius, and right below that, every movie is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would say maybe Escape from LA just kind of hits the cusp. There's like a there's like a very fine thin line of like. So you're saying I can take it. So you're saying the king's speech is just a little bit better than Escape from LA. Well, <laughs> in the spectrum, everything sure. Where did the King's Speech come from in this I, conversation? Apparently that's Dylan's that was, favorite film. No, that was just, that was just okay. a good movie I chose. How, how, how do you feel about the King's Speech? It was good. Yeah, I thought it was good, too. Yeah, it was good. not one of my favorites, but it was I good. I thought it was terrible. You didn't like the King's Speech? No, he's just being a d- You suck as a person if you didn't like it. No, he's just being a d- 
I, I'm sorry, but I'm sorry for everyone if I uh, um, made anyone feel bad who actually doesn't like that movie. Although I do don't, I, I don't like it. Yeah, I was gonna say he doesn't like you now. Um, okay, but I was gonna say that this movie is the mm. most cartoonish portrayal of right. Batman ever. Like including cartoons, including cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> there are there is there is specifically this one cartoon called. Uh, the Brave and the Bold, which is uh, Batman Brave and the Bold, which is a wildly cartoonish version of Batman title. that has, well, it's it's the title of an old comic book. It was Batman the Brave and the Bold. Wow. So it was a callback to that. Wow. Uh, so it's not terrible. Well, it's a callback. The best of comics are that were called The Best of the Brave and the Bold. Oof. Yep. Love those bees. Oh, Batman, The Best of the Brave and the Bold. Barf. That's another bee. <laughs> but that, that thing, that thing even had like, had singing in certain parts of it, like, like in a specific episode, he had to like sing to uh, to 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 beat some villain, and that was less silly than this movie. Yeah, this movie I, was silly, silly as they were doing the car chase down the arm. Yeah, of the gigantic massive. statue. Yeah. By the way, statue. I love Gotham in yeah. this movie. No. Yeah. Well, the problem with Goth- Gotham looks, it, it's a really cool art design for the city of Gotham. It's like. It's like I wrote down here, if if the Russians won the Cold War and built a city where New yeah. York should be, uh, they would have built it with like these large Gothic statues that were yeah. holding up things and everything's being held up by a statue and everything's strangely grandiose. Yeah, but it's, then it's, the, but then this weird wacky movie is layered on top of that and it just <laughs> does not mesh together at all. It's yeah. like as if Trotsky like yeah. designed the cover for Ayn Rand's Atlas Shrugged. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, this, uh, this, this would be like. awesome for Red Sun Batman. I did yeah. say that I liked Gotham, not the movie layered over it. Yeah. <laughs> Going but, back, wait, well, speaking wait, wait, of Gotham, yeah, let's keep on speaking of Gotham. The uh, Gotham is is like the Detroit of the DC universe in this movie because everything is closed down. It's true. There's the Turkish baths, the ice cream place, anywhere the bad guys go is derelict. And and full of some weird themed gang. Yeah, but a lot of people like hanging out in the streets. Yeah, and yeah. what I found to be interesting is they devi- they developed Gotham to not have a ground floor. Yeah, <laughs> there's, there's no it ground just, floor. It just keeps going down. Unless you need to, to fall into water, it looks like the whole thing <laughs> is skyscrapers built yeah. over well, the you, know, you see it sunk down about two stories there used to be streets yeah well they show streets sometimes and I, I keep wondering where those are <laughs> it looks a little bit like um, Fifth Element New York yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. like Tro- Trotsky's that. Fifth yeah. Element a few yeah. more uh, statues if Stalingrad was it was like a, a bustling city uh Hey, you don't know Stalingrad might have been <laughs> yeah. Stalingrad meets Coruscant from uh, the Star Wars movies. Okay, we can go yeah. with that. Yeah, that makes sense to me and several other people. Um, and you know at what? least half our audience. You know what really annoyed me? Was that like cool guy talk sarcasm? Like, oh, oh what are you doing? I'm oh, just hanging out. It's like, oh, God, Oh, this you is mean terrible. all the quips on this movie? Oh, my God, the one liners and everything? Oh, yeah, they're, they're just, uh, everywhere. Yeah, they were yeah they were rampant. It was, well, like, because, lousy with them. Uh, I mean, that's one liners are generally a place in movies where normally a person wouldn't speak. Right. And someone wants to break the silence in a movie, and so they insert a line, and it's always bad. Right. This and this movie the, is filled with them. Yeah, the script was a one liner. It was just like... No, it was multiple. Everybody was like trying to outdo the one-liners. If it was a one-liner, it wouldn't have been two hours long. I know. (laughs) It was two hours... It was two hours long. And it dragged. It was too long of a movie. And and listen, if it was two hours long with like fantastic acting, I'd be like, yeah, it was difficult. This, it was... I said it was like... I wrote down, it's like acting class acting. Where they're like still working on the scene, but they're not quite there yet, you know. Except like Uma for Thurman, Arnold, yeah, Arnold was Arnold the, was great. Arnold, Arnold has the exception. Uh, Arnold is either the prodigy in that class or right. the teacher. Exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, like Uma Thurman, I felt like worked on her character way too much, and all she did was just rip off the 1940s actresses. She's yeah, like, was "Come really, on, fellas, we're gonna do this tonight." Yeah, I it was loved really that. Weird. Oh, I, I hated loved it. it. Loved it. Oh, loved it. What loved a it. Cheap, I also hated what a her cheap person dumbass like. hair. Oh yeah. I just She's loved everything her. about her. That was prime Uma Garbage. Thurman. She was just throwing around her sexuality. Ugh, she was what sexuality? kicking butt, taking names. Yeah. She just did Smart. this. Yeah. That's not kicking butt. 
She's we, this her is name is Poison. Podcast. Shut up. <laughs> her name is Poison Ivy. She uses pheromones. Duh. I'm giving you a dirty look. I, I also wrote down even comics uh, comic books weren't this cheesy. This oh, movie they, was just, they were. They uh, were. There, there was barely. a period, there was a period of time where they were very cheesy. There was at the beginning Compared they were very, this movie? at the at the beginning they were very dark and then there was a period of time that was like r- amazingly campy in Batman uh, comic books. Amazingly campy. Yeah. That was the like, period of time where you have like Batman the, and Robin sleeping in the same bed like because what in, era? Like in the costumes. 70s? 70s had the most like No, no, 70s. Ones. No, no, 70s was uh, I think when their things were getting darker again. Oh, I'm talking about comic books in general. Though. But I'm like, not talking about Batman comic 60s books. 60s was the okay. campiest era, I think. I don't know. Don't ask me, dude. I wasn't asking you. Ask Wikipedia. <clears throat> Wikipedia knows um, But there all. is a section of Batman history that is just maybe even campier than this movie. Yeah. Which is it's insane. Does, did anybody have a problem with, like, the whole birth of Bane and uh, Uma Thurman's yes. character? Yeah. Like, that she literally came sense. out of the dirt. Because she had some like poison poured on her, and somehow yeah. she just sank into the dirt. Yeah. I can I can almost forgive that. Oh, that was for terrible. Being just like, okay, okay, comic book logic: poison, fall in dirt, become a plant. Poison woman. ivy. Yeah. Okay, but Bane. I mean. Yeah, that was a bad one. Uh, Bane. It's, it's it's almost sad that that's the uh, the best film adaptation of Bane. Well, it's the best image, like f- like his mask well, I mean, was on point, and and the idea of how he is strong, oh yeah, and stuff like that, like just it, how Bane works. That's the yeah, best version. The best right. version yeah. of of like physically how Bane is, is is best in this movie. But everything else about him was wrong. I really enjoyed when he gets depowered and he turns into the scrawny person. Oh, yeah, so <laughs> dorky. It yeah. reminds me of that old. Video game rampage. Yeah, <laughs> where, the, where, the, where they go back down to right. babies. <laughs> when yeah. you go from werewolf you click, and king kong, click the B button really fast to become <laughs> yeah, king kong. Yeah, that's again. right. Ah oh, man, I love that game. I used to play that arcade all the time. Yeah. Oh, that's a great um, uh, Bane was arcades. good. I would say that they could have. They didn't need an origin story for Bane and Poison Ivy. If they simply showed up at the wildly racist Heart of Africa <laughs> soiree sponsored by Wayne Corp. That would have been enough. Everyone would have been on board. I would have been fine with it. I would have learned about them because I didn't learn anything about them in the previous scene. (laughs) I like the origin of Bane, though. I thought that one was a good one. But Uh, definitely not the Poison Ivy one. I mean, mean, good at meaning, like, they need that character to have one. uh, Well, I mean, I had a huge... Well, Bane, I felt like it was an amazingly throwaway character in this movie. Yeah, he was. He He wasn't used right. Because he didn't have... He had no development and no character to him. He was just like, we need a big guy. And Bane's a big guy. He was a big guy. In the comics, he speaks and is a leader and has plans. And this guy did one word every once in a while. Yeah, he's just a big dumb thug. But he he could have literally been anybody in this movie. Or five lesser men to just get the whatever you need done done. Like, yeah, but right. then they wouldn't have been able to have Bane in a hat and trench coat and no one knows it's Bane. <laughs> the that wire sticking out his head. That wouldn't fool anybody. Yeah. Bane in a hat and trench coat was one of my heartfelt moments in this movie. <laughs> the fact that he can compete with people like Alf. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't worry, guys. No one will tell, realize that you're a giant, six foot tall, roided out luchador. <laughs> <laughs> Just put on the trench coat. Um, yeah. What the f- is with Freeze's sidekicks? They're terrible. Uh, you mean the guy, just all the guys in the parkas? Yeah, yeah. Dude, his relationship with them is so strange. Yeah. When he go back to his cave or whatever it is, and he's forcing them to sing that song. Yeah. yeah. I'm Mr. Mr. White Christmas. Uh, I'm Mr. Mr. Snow. Come on, louder. And they're all just like shaking, yeah. holding these frozen meals that frozen are stuck dinners. to their hands. Yeah. <laughs> and the one scantily clad woman. Vivian Vivi- Vivi- Fox. All right. She's Vivica freezing, and she's wearing nothing, and she's throwing herself at Mr. Freeze. In who one is scene. literally zero degrees himself. <laughs> and, and he just gives her the cold shoulder. <laughs> yeah. And that's the only scene she's in. And she's Why? She's just so, there to show that he is faithful to his wife. That's right. the only reason he's she there. She isn't there for like two seconds. She's, but couldn't yeah. he show that by... Um, he could have turning that. away poison ivy. Yes, yes. he could yes. have done that. Yes, Dave. Yes, he could have. Which now, he if you, does. Actually. If you like, watch this movie, time. you know there were mistakes. Oh, <laughs> they could have. They could have just cut so much of this movie out, made it a ninety-minute movie, 
it still wouldn't have been good, but it would have been tight. Yeah. Oh, speaking well, of... no, no. In 97, tight meant something completely different. <laughs> it would have been tighter than... Oh, boy, move on. Batman's Quick. nipple suit. His buns. I thought... Oh, okay. Just everyone in their bondage costume in this movie. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. And that's... Uh, okay, so not the bondage thing, but the, the suits. I did not like the nipples, but I felt like Robin looked more like Nightwing. Oh, yeah. and He was Nightwing. And that was cool to me. Because I don't really like Robin in theory <laughs> you or like Nightwing. execution. Yeah. And but did you I don't like even I don't even know that much about Nightwing other than it's not Robin. And so that just helped me Well, it's a former Robin. Right. But it helped me purge well, the, that's the, fair. the a first former Robin. Yeah, it's it is Dick Grayson. It's the right character. They just decided right. not to change his name in the movie. Which I mean they could have He's he's Batman throws him out when he turns eighteen. He's right. like, "You're not Robin anymore because you're eighteen. You're too old." And he's like, "I guess I'm Nightwing now." <laughs> I yeah. need a new but, little boy. <laughs> his, his '80s costume. Oh god. His '80s costume. You would have liked that even more because it was an '80s costume. Oh, I thought you were gonna say it was a deep V. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. He had with a, a giant collar. With a huge collar and a deep V, and I think he had like tassels on his arms. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, it was, it was absurd. Mm. So but, I, I didn't hate Rob, and I, as a person, I hate Robin. I thought, I think Robin oh, is yeah. a bane on the Batman <laughs> franchise and world. Should not exist. But this one was terrible. Oh, do, are, do you read the comics? Yes. Do you guys? When you do any of you guys yes. currently read the comics? Um, I'm a little behind, but okay. yes. I, yeah, I don't I've keep read, up with them, but I make sure I, I make have a read, point to read I've all read the like thousands of. I was gonna say because there's loads of those things, yeah. and yeah. there's like 17 different generations of them. I have uh, literally read thousands of comics. Don't you tread on me, <laughs> nerd. <laughs> Speaking about the whole Batman Robin thing, like you said, when he kicked him out, he was eighteen. Mm-hmm. I said Batman in this movie, George Clooney's character seems like a sh- overbearing father. Yep. He's like, he's like, yeah. no, I'm gonna turn your motorcycle off. Meh. Like he's such a piece of sh-. like he he doesn't treat Robin really well, and he's like, you're, you're my best friend, I love you, uh, but guess what, you're still a child, I hate you. And he's not a child. Yeah. No, also, he's a grown ass man. Even in the previous movie, if you go by the comics, Robin was never young enough to be Robin. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly oh, yeah. mid twenties. Yeah. Oh yeah. Seriously. Oh uh, okay. But back to uh, Poison Ivy and Bane. Okay. Uh, they were both created by John Glover, being some crazy evil doctor. Um, oh, that's and his he name, was John Glover. Yeah, and he was amazing. He yeah. would have been a much better main villain, I think. He was so he was so crazy. Do you remember what his name was in the movie? Villain. No. I don't but you know, know what's great is we find out what his first name was, which was just John. Poison Ivy comes out like for the first time. She's like John, oh, so yeah. his name was Doctor John something. <laughs> she doesn't sound very evil oh. at all. I liked him. Oh my gosh, the people oh, yeah, he, he was, was the people he was selling the Venom <laughs> formula to yeah. the ununited nations. I know, and they're like the most quintessential like group. Like, oh, it's the Russians and yeah. like the some, UUN. Yeah, the it UUN. makes me wonder if he read the script and it said UN United Nations. <laughs> Ununited Nations. <laughs> he just read it as un. That's amazing. Nations. That's amazing. I hope he did. Um, I also wrote that Bane looked like someone who goes to the Rocky Horror Picture Show, like midnight showings all the time. I'm sorry, you can probably find that guy in that suit at one of those. That's what showings. I'm saying. Yeah, he had like high platform boots, like fishnet uh, undershirt. I would like to correct you. Oh, what's that? Uh, his name was Jason, not John. I J- said Jason. You said John. You said John. You said John. Oh, f- I wrote J- Dr. Jason. Uh, Jason Woodrow. 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 <laughs> yeah, Woodrow. Okay, still Woodrow. doesn't sound like a mad scientist to me. Well, well if you say like, Jason Woodrow, then it sounds like a mad yeah. scientist. No, you Any, sound like a weirdo. Anybody can be a mad scientist. You don't start out being a mad scientist. You, you just get start mad out, scientist names you once you get there. You start out being a scientist. And then, you know, <laughs> things progress a little too far. You might uh, take your theories the wrong direction, and then you become a mad scientist. Well, then, no, or, then your funding is pulled... And then Maybe. you start taking money from some really offbeat people, and then you become a mad scientist. It's a slippery slope. It is. And then, then you start you... saying your name all crazy like and I then, did. Yeah. I think he could also... What was his last name? Woodrow. Woodrow! Yes. I think also creepy if he just said it soft and took a long time to get there. My name is Jason Woodrow. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, see? God, Either yes. Either way. Yeah. Well, I mean, he pulled it off. <clears throat> yeah. He pu- he knocked it out of the park. Yeah, oh, he yeah. nailed that. Um, let's get on to another <laughs> character, which was Elisa, Alicia Silverstone's Batwoman. Mm. Girl. Bat girl. 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 Bat lady. Remember, he kept giving her different things. <sighs> okay, so. Terrible. Uh, I'm just going to put that out there. They made up this character for this movie. Okay. And they didn't I have to. to. I have to say... Dylan just took his glasses off and <laughs> set them on the paper. Dude, serious and, this and, time. And in like a f- slow mo way of doing it, like, like is, sh- while he was saying serious. okay, yeah. like your this grandfather what, when he's disappointed. This in is you. where we shut up and let Dylan do his thing. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I think let me get my water out. All right, give, go ahead. You're giving me a little too much gravitas. I think. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I think it's um, the glasses are off though. At this point in time, when it was '97. Uh, Batgirl hadn't been in comics for nine years. She was already crippled. She was in a wheelchair. She was in a wheelchair until like 2014. Th- wow, this, 12, got, this got real 10, serious. Uh, 11. 11? Uh, something like that. Um, Batgirl hadn't been Batgirl in a long time. And this movie decided to halfway make up a new Batgirl um, instead of just going with, with Batgirl. And they decided on a blonde instead of a redhead, which is traditionally what Batgirl was, but they, they chose, they told her Barbara, which was that Batgirl's first name, but then called her Wilson? I don't know. Or Willis? Uh, Wilson, in, Instead think. of Gordon. And they had a Commissioner Gordon. They had a Commissioner Gordon, but they didn't, they didn't give him, give him a daughter to become Batgirl. They just, so that's where Batgirl comes from? Yeah. Is Commissioner Gordon's Commissioner daughter? Commissioner Gordon, Gordon's daughter. Well, yeah. Obviously he doesn't know. <laughs> yeah, well, he doesn't I'm know. I'm not getting but, into that part, I'm just saying, that's weird. They, they just, they decided to, they had the character, they had they had a person ready to be that character's father, but they decided to make everything connected and have that person be related to Alfred instead, which it just is a really weird decision. And yeah. it's not like they couldn't have make made it work with with Barbara Gordon being back. It actually would have been a very interesting story. It was convenient. That. And it made Conve- they they created it, it and it as to it, be convenient as it is. This movie was two hours long, and that was using they the wouldn't sh- have needed to take the they shortcut. Wouldn't have been, that was a shortcut. They wouldn't have been taking the time with her being his niece. No, so. because the stakes were Alfred is sick. Yes, and everyone needed to be invested in saving Alfred. Well, so he didn't Batgirl need to needed... be sick. No, he did though. He didn't. The city was being frozen. That could be a very good yeah, his reason. Yeah, pl- his plotline kind of seemed sh- and weak. Yeah, it was. It was uh, very, wrong, it was very contrived. Yeah. I'm going, He's also got the disease. I'm yeah. going to take back my statement hmm. and agree with the oh, twins. A waffler. Wait, I was the first one that said it. F*** you. Okay, fair enough. Was it just me, or did it seem like when uh, Alicia Silverstone first got in the movie... Both her uh, or both Batman and Robin just seemed like they wanted to Eiffel Tower her when they were like walking through the mansion. That would be just you. Okay, all yeah, right. That's, Fair enough. Uh, that's that's because you're you, Brett. They were giving those eyes back and forth, like, mm-hmm, yeah, I know what's gonna happen tonight. All right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's just you. All right, yeah. just you. You are alone. Fair enough. Check that one off. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I was wondering about with <laughs> with both Bat Batgirl and Robin. The the whole idea of leaving your hair out to flow, like forensic evidence, man. Forensic You're evidence. You're in a world of mad scientists. I'm sorry, there's so much crime in Gotham that hair will end up in a box somewhere and never be looked at again. Dude, the <laughs> other thing is, not even that, you literally have, you don't need, oh, George Clooney is the most like identify, identify, identifiable, identifiable person in the world. You put like some black eye makeup on him and half a mask, and he's still talking in the same voice. But you don't don't think it's gonna take too many guesses to go. Who the hell is that again? You don't give him a mustache to. That would like, be a great disguise. Can you imagine that having like a fake mustache? No, not a fake one. Like he just has the mustache, like a little twirly one. <laughs> Wait, are you bat? No, no. I just, I'm an admirer. I really yeah. like his mustache. But he does. He does this. He puts his hands <laughs> over his eyes. And they're like, "Wait a second, you do look like him." You were pl- I saw you playing peekaboo with my baby, and I think I know your game. <laughs> you look a little familiar, sir. How would you fix it? Well, no, uh, there's yeah, more yeah, stuff yeah, to talk yeah, about yeah, first. Yeah. yeah. Like, Alicia Silverstone is the worst actress in the world. She's not! She's a she princess! Is. No! <laughs> <laughs> what is it, like, her, her stroke mouth talking, where it's, like, side on the mouth, and she talks like, yes, yeah, so I, I'm pretty sure you were the only person that saw that. The look at her mouth when she's talking. I'm pretty sure everyone was. Well, Brad. I'm not going to go back to the movie, Brad. That's not, not happening. Yeah. It, um, 1997 terrible. was a good year Oh, my for God. Her. No. The, when 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 Robin was drowning in that pool, and they're like, we need a shot of him 
like coming up, shaking his head, and being pulled back underwater. But we don't have one, and oh. we need to. We can't reshoot it. Okay, so we have one shot of him coming out of the water and kind of moving to one side. So let's just have that, and then reverse it, and it'll be totally okay. I have to admit, it was the worst looking thing. What you just said threw me off. I thought you were talking about Alicia Silverstone because we we're like right on that topic, and all of a sudden you're like, and then Robin. And I, was I like, said what? Robin. Yeah, I know, but, I, I, but it threw me off because it was just like right to the next one. Oh, oh yeah, and then the, right at the very beginning of the movie, I mean the very beginning of the movie, the, there's like the whole montage of Batman and Robin getting dressed in their, in their fancy weird costumes, and uh, then they, they hop in their, their car and their motorcycle and they drive off, and then they're called by Commissioner Gordon, yeah. who tells them that Freeze is robbing the, uh, the, the museum. Oh, a new guy named Freeze, who they haven't run across I, before. Yeah. I have to tell you this, the only thing that makes sense to me is they might have seen the bat <laughs> signal and then got in the car to start going and then got the message on the TV. They were in a cave, they, they couldn't were... see the signal. <laughs> um, but but if, if they, they, they got in the car and then they received a message and Batman was like, was like oh, okay, I guess we're going to the museum. And where, was, where were they going? Where did well, they? Where did, what yeah, did they I, blow I, off? Well, ironically, <laughs> they were going out for ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> You know, when you're Batman, you have to go out on patrols. True. They were in a hurry. When you're Batman, you have a nice car. You're always in a hurry. Robin wanted a car. Well, when you say I want a car, chicks dig the car. Oh, God. That was the lie. Punch him in the face. Oh, my God. But, yeah, yeah, Robin saying, I want a car, like an is the first line of the movie. Yeah. (laughs) The first spoken word. I I I wrote down that Robin is such a bitch. He's like, but I want to be Batman. What I love about that is never at says the that. end of it the movie, like he gets a hovercraft. Yeah. So oh, yeah. No car. He must have had that hovercraft just around. But it's it's somewhere. like it's the kind that has a huge gigantic fan on the back, like you're on the swamp, like the bayou. Yeah. Well, he's just sitting in that car, kind of speaking to himself, kind of belligerent. Chicks yeah. dig the hovercraft. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're like fans, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, did anybody else think that Batman that and Robin had terrible blue balls? What? Yeah. I wasn't they, listening to you. D- Batman and Robin, terrible blue balls. I'm just guessing. Well, I mean, Mr. Uh, Freeze is nearby. I feel so. like... They, they g- <laughs> <laughs> well, at one point, the, they have a diamond that literally looks like a blue testicle. Yeah, it did. It did. Like a blue ball sack. <laughs> yeah. But she keeps blowing that dust on them. They're both like, oh my god. That was the point of the dust. I know. So they got like blue balls all day. Like, oh, terrible. I can't imagine that. Well, yeah, Mr. Freeze with that freeze gun, it's gonna. Yeah, you, you used that one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, sorry. Check that off my list. Blue balls talked about. Uh, Eiffel Towering. Okay. You are literally checking things off a really list. Really am. Really am. Yep. Next one is uh, actually a credit to David. He said it seems like a uh, high production of a porn, like you would see on Skinamax or something. Well, Except that would be Batman in Robin, like David. Oh, was that's right. That's about right. Earlier. Oh, let me write that down. Batman again. You guys are taking all my. Good, I'm just gonna shut up during the movie now because I they, gave you credit. I said David Cred. Stuff. I said it was like a porno without any sex. Is that was the feel of you this movie? You said high concept. Yeah, high concept porno without any sex. I think high production seems better. It's got a lot of money in it. You, you know what else was? I feel like I, I touched on it a little bit earlier. But all those gangs. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got that down too. All those, those, yes. those themed gangs. Yeah. Every gang was like. I mean, we were talking about it last week. How Red Sonia had all those different like every every single group had their own thing and their own headdress and weird shoulder pads or whatever. But this this movie. <laughs> I mean, this movie is full on warriors. With yeah. Its, oh, I love. The with warriors. the Beethovens? Yeah, yeah and the, 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 guy, the, the Clockwork IC- Orange people. Yeah, the rip-off Clockwork Orange people and the ICP Juggalos were also there. Yeah, and the uh, and the guys that just had that, like, glow-in-the-dark face right. paint. We're really into raves. <laughs> yeah. We are raves. <laughs> but, oh. I mean, and, and then all those groups peacefully came together to have motorcycle races every night. Well, not well, too peacefully. Well, there was that one group that was... Rigging the race, but right. other than that, everyone I mean, else was like, pretty peaceful. You know, they were all, you know, they were at the at the, fin- at the start lines, like, okay, let's all let's get this race going. It was very very organized. Very well, organized. it's because Coolio was in charge. Yeah, well, that's yeah. true. Coolio with his Coolio hair. <laughs> that's right. I wonder if he still has that hair. He, Probably no, no, no. Not. You know what it's like now? Yeah, it's in a box somewhere. <laughs> 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 Along with his career, oh. uh, he had like hair that started like getting that like horseshoe kind of look. So he started just keeping two, like an alien. And it's weird. Then he shaved the rest of it, so he just has two prongs coming out like this. That is wicked awesome. Nope. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Speaking of, you know, I said there's so much crime in Gotham that uh, no one would ever have that forensic evidence anyway. 
Um, yeah, it seems like for the number of gang people we see, it must be like one in five people are like in a gang in and, Gotham. And actually, no other crimes were committed. That's yeah. true. There were no crimes committed. Yeah. I mean, oh, technically, also, street racing is a crime. Right. But also, driving down the arm of a Leninist statue is probably a crime. Yeah, that's mm. true. So, well, I mean, we don't know the street laws of Gotham. The Gotham like, DMV yeah. considers oh, yeah. to I, be against I, the law. I forgot, to, I forgot <laughs> to mention earlier, but uh, about how the entire city being derelict, basically. Uh, things are either uh, shut down and derelict, or they're holding a gala. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's just one of the two. That's By the way, going. the botanical gardens, I've been missing out. I've never gone to botanical gardens before, and I didn't know that they had floor shows. <laughs> yeah. How many gallons do you think were in this movie? Three, Wait. four? Um, there were the two at the observatory. Uh, then there was the one at the uh, botanical at, the, at the botanical gardens and one at the museum I, or something like that. Yeah, there was a thing at the museum. Which is funny because the only person that's throwing them all is um, Bruce, is Wayne. Bruce Wayne. I don't think he's but, throwing but, them. But uh, he, I, I think mean, he, he kind of was a guest, or, or he's paying for them. Or and, and the way he's paying for it is with Batman's credit card that lasts forever. Seven million dollars, Batman credit card. Never, Never leave home, home without, without it. it. Oh, God, now, check that one up. Expiration date, forever. Right. So it's constantly expiring. <laughs> <laughs> he has to call the bank every time. Yeah, hi, I'm, yeah, I'm no, trying no, to buy, no, I'm no, trying no, buy no, some no, more, like, boomerangs, no, but no, you like, keep no, uh, no. rejecting. Yes, yes, I, that, I, that is a $7 million charge. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I, Poison I a, Ivy I bought a woman for $7 traffic. million. Dollars. I bought a woman. Like, I, I can, yeah, I can right. charge that, right? Oh, uh, and no, those porno charges were f uh, fraud for no, sure. No, 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 it's, no, it's, no, no, no. I'm buying consensually. It's it's consensual <laughs> that I'm buying a woman. No, it's it's not like really. She said yes. It's not it's not slavery. It's I I'm, I really don't. I'm not sure how I can explain it to you properly. It, <laughs> oh yeah, and another thing that really she was at an auction. One thing that freaks me out. I'm just out, digging myself a hole, aren't I? <laughs> one thing that kind of freaked me out in this movie is that uh, Alfred, or there was okay. First, a weird thing. Alfred uh, gives Batgirl. Or gives his niece uh, a disc and says, "Make sure this gets to my brother Wilfred." Yeah, and uh, and don't open it. And then whatever she opens you it. do, don't yeah. open it. Yeah, whatever you do, don't open it. And I, I guess he's assuming she will, but if she didn't, then Batman and Robin would have died. But she opens it up and she she puts it in the disc and it's like, oh, it's just a bunch of facts of, and like schematics about Batman and Robin and yeah, things. Yeah, how's that gonna save them though? I don't. Um, well, yeah. I think he was just like basically gonna get his brother to be the butler the after butler. he died. Yeah. yeah. That, but but the thing that that kind of freaked me out was that uh, she she was like, oh well, so this is they're Batman and Robin, I, uh, and she goes and finds the Batcave, and then there's a whole security alarm thing. I've got to say, she comes into the Batcave from below. Where the f*** did she go in? <laughs> yeah, right? That was She doesn't really come down strange. the staircase. She comes up the big bat yeah, sign. From where the cars are kept, the mysterious place where the cars go beneath the Batcave. She came up from that. I don't know, I don't know where. But she... Uh, she trips an alarm, and Alfred's face comes up on the screen, and he's like, oh, I, I'm really glad you came here. I've been waiting for this. I've made you a costume. Right. And he made her, like, this weird bondage costume. Yeah, he dresses her up like a common whore. Yeah. His, her, his, his niece. His niece. He made, niece. he made this for her. I don't know where he got her measurements. Hey, he's good at eyeing stuff like that. He's a butler. Oh, yeah, he's been eyeing his niece. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and he only had a few weeks. Yeah, but also, also... This movie is sexist. It's not very, it doesn't have equality in it by virtue of not having nipples on Alicia Silverstone's bat suit. Well, like I said before, yeah. guys don't have to wear shirts. They can like show their nipples. Girls have to wear at least like a bra or something so they can't have that just popping out. She actually had like a bra in print. Yeah, yeah that, was, like, um, that was really weird. Yeah, the, Which in the suit. Yeah, weird, Alfred. Um, Super weird. I also, I wrote down, I felt like Alicia Silverstone's character couldn't even open a pickle jar, let alone beat Bane in a fight. What um, the f*** is she doing there? I'm sorry. Just a second. Back to the nipples. Oh, I would I'm much sorry. rather have this movie be not sexist by no one having nipples <laughs> on their suits. Oh, I agree. That would make the movie a lot better. <laughs> she And she doesn't beat Bane. I mean, she kind of beats Bane. What I wonder is, how does she beat Poison Ivy? Poison Ivy is so easily defeated in this movie. Oh, oh yeah. she, Poison Ivy has control over men, and she is a woman. It doesn't make any sense. It's dumb. Yeah. Right. Also, she's kicked into a plant that then tries to kill her, and, and she we, was just laying in. Like, actually, a ago. we all thought she died. 
yeah. and then she She's appears at the yeah. end of the movie in Arkham Asylum, Arrested, and we're yeah. like, "Wait, you're alive?" <laughs> there was a scene that wait, must have been. Cut. Wait a minute. Who arrested you? Because they immediately went after Freeze. It's true. Uh, I also wrote down that the Foley work on this film must have taken years. There was just so many like whoops and bangs and like, <laughs> like in the beginning when they're putting on their suit, it's like, Hush! like it's all these like crazy loud sounds for like okay. a, a leg going so in. So you know all the, the number of people that worked on the entirety of the film, you got to take that number of people and they did Foley. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how they did it in time. That's how many people? Yeah, yeah it was like 400 people. Okay. Speaking of time, this movie has a weird dichotomy about time where the first, like, 90% of the movie, I have no idea how long that took because it's constantly night, and they're always like, <laughs> yeah. and always like, oh, two days ago we did this, three days ago we did this. I, I don't know how, many, how much time has passed. Do yeah. you sleep? When is this? When is the movie? Why is it always nighttime? Is, is it just <laughs> smog? Have we seen day? Is there sun in well, there, this world? There was always like these crazy ass storms yeah. too. But then, yeah. But then, then later, during the uh, Mister Freeze freezes the entire world, and earlier freeze well freezes all of Gotham, and earlier, uh, Bat when Batman and Robin had to unfreeze people, it was like, oh, we have eleven minutes to unfreeze them before they die, and we timed it out, and from like the second. Everyone was unfrozen at 11 minutes, like exactly 11 Perfect minutes timing, later. Joel Perfect Schumacher. timing. Yeah, and we give give you props on that. Hats that's, off that's, to you. That's the one Giving thing you we can props, give you. Giving you props, editor who actually cared, not <laughs> Joel Schumacher. Marker. I don't yeah. care what his name is. Uh, how about Batman's illusions of grandeur? We just kept seeing like images in the windows. That's called halu. That's called like. It's just a hallucination of the past. That's a psychotic oh, break. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I think we're Getting fine. There. We can we're, move on. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Dave. Oh my god, wait. I forgot. After we thought they killed Ivy, they don't just go after Freeze. They go to get new costumes first. <laughs> oh, yeah. They had to go back to the Batcave, and if my understanding of where Bruce Wayne lives is correct, outside of town, and then come back in new costumes. So that means that Alfred made two bondage costumes for his niece. One that could withstand the cold. And all of them just have, like, now everyone has a black and silver costume. It was cool. Oh, right. Out of nowhere. And uh, so, so Dave. Yes. Uh, we're finally to that time. Mm -hmm. How would you fix this movie? I would make, I would give it to Christopher Nolan. Oh, come on. That would be, <laughs> you mean, like, like, give him the footage and say, please edit this. See what no, you can do. No, just like. I would like you to reinvent this franchise. Uh, that's what happened. Uh, how about in 97, what would you do? I would not release this movie. That would probably... You would treat it like that early 90s Fantastic Four movie. Yeah, it's it just would... like, okay, we held oh, on to the rights, gosh. we can stop. That movie's terrible. Uh, oh, yes, yeah. exactly. It was just a bad movie, and it mm. made people not like Batman, which yeah. is unfortunate, because Batman's amazing. And... It wasn't good. No, and no, no. Spider-Man's amazing. That's, that's, keep, but keep going, keep going. And comic book anything, tag. anything I did to tweak this movie, uh, tweak this film would be to uh, subvert the intention of this film. This film was exactly what it wanted no, to be. He's calling it a film here, by the way. Just call it a movie. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. No, Short we're using just, quotes right. like in the title. Oh. Short yeah, of just film. cutting some stuff out and moving the plot along, uh, like. The some of the fights just were so super elaborate. I would yeah. definitely take out that spot where Batman slides down the dinosaur, a la Fred Flintstone. Oh my god! Or how about, like all the how about all the weird floaty like when when, when all Robin the wire work? When, yeah all the weird wire work where like Robin will float across oh. the screen into place. I wrote like, down slowly. huge jumps. What's yeah. going on here? That was the terrible wire work in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. Alfred oh was god. really busy. I was super. I was. <laughs> I was super Super surprised that I never saw a wire. Yeah. I was too, actually. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, Butler Steve the whole time. Well, no, it's Butler Alfred. Come on, man. It doesn't deserve to exist. It was a black spot in every single actor in the meet. Oh, yeah. I remember there was... I saw an episode of Conan where uh, George Clooney was on, and they were talking about... uh, This was when Arnold Schwarzenegger was the governor, and... And Conan was like, they were talking about politics, and Conan was like, oh, have you ever met Arnold Schwarzenegger? And Clooney said, oh, yeah, uh, me and him destroyed Batman together. <laughs> no, he said killed, Killed, I think. yeah. We, me, and, awesome. me and him killed Batman together. That is awesome. Uh, 
Um, Which I know, Conan had forgot. Yeah, I know exactly how I would fix this movie. Give it to me. Uh, we it wouldn't it wouldn't have well you know if if they had already filmed it and like the editor got into the room and he was like, okay we need half a year and we can just animate it. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. <laughs> Just give us, just give me a bill, a team of people in here, and we'll just make it a cartoon, and we'll release it that way, and then we can make some of the stuff even more elaborate, oh, just kind of yeah. fit with its its themes a little better, and and so just 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 animate it, and people won't take it as seriously, people won't think it's like a <laughs> real Batman movie, and then everything will be fine. That is actually you would animate perfect. It. I would animate it. I was gonna. I say wouldn't animate. It. I would hire people to animate. Well, yeah, you would be. It would end up terrible if you animated it. That might be better, actually. I'm a decent artist. <laughs> you're not that good. You're not. You're. you're but you're not a good artist. Okay, Ian. What, what were you gonna say? I can't really draw people. <laughs> yeah, that would be a problem. <laughs> I was gonna say this movie is practically beyond saving. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you just have to cut stuff down and just try to make it as tight as possible and just pray. That's it. That's all you could do. You're never going to get a good movie out of this movie, no matter what you do. You can. No. You, you I can wouldn't get... cut anything Arnold Schwarzenegger did out. Right. All you because can do because his were the most enjoyable parts. All you can do is damage control. Right. Yeah. I think what I would do is just only put in the blooper reel of the entire movie. I'm sorry. We just watched that. Didn't oh, we? that's uh, right. Uh. <laughs> the movie is Batman paying for absolutely everything on the back credit card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, I wanted to see if it's okay if I go on to some trivia about this movie. You have a couple oh, of minutes. How about this one? You have a couple of minutes. Due to the difficulty of the large amount of time it took to take off the Batman suit, George Clooney apparently re- peed in the suit at least on one occasion. Just peed in it? Yeah. <laughs> so the bottom of his boots are just urine. Wait, didn't we joke about that at some point yeah. in the movie? <laughs> oh, classic Clooney. Uh, Maybe. You gotta no. give me a second because some of these are kind of long. Huh? So oh, keep talking then, yeah. As he's looking for that, where, where are we going from here? Because I got some ideas. Oh, I think too. we should stay in Gotham. No. I think we should watch Catwoman. No. I don't think that actually took place in Gotham. You want to stay in the Batman universe is what you're saying. Yeah. Well, that wasn't even really in the Batman universe. It was... Well, no, no. Ten. They uh, there there is a picture. Yes, I know of, of Michelle Pfeiffer of Michelle Pfeiffer on the wall of of Catwoman. In in that's a stupid movie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's I'm... do that. Because <laughs> <laughs> my my thought. Yeah. Okay. If everyone's on board, you know, I'm not on board. I watched that movie years after it came out, just because I was like, I've never seen this, and I've heard it's terrible, and I I just want to know, and and I do now, and that was years. Ago I've, anyway. I've but. never seen it, and it won. It like swept the Razzies that year. Oh, oh yeah. it was terrible. Oh, yeah. it, like won everything. You know what's also bad? Oh. The Catwoman game for PS2. Ugh, awful. There's a game for it. Yeah, you that, that play was it? back in the day where like every superhero movie had a licensed game. Jeez. This movie had a licensed game. Was wow. it a racing game? Uh, no, it was actually an open world Gotham. Co- Game where and you, you had drove, a car. You drove around in the Batmobile. It was Maybe the it was, first open world. Or was Gotham it Batman? Game. Was it Batman Forever? Or Batman? It was one of those. It was one of the two Joel Joel Schumacher movies that had an on the PS one, and the draw distance was like eight feet, <laughs> so you could see nothing in front of your car. It would have made a really good Mario Kart type game. I a think. racing game. Yeah. Or like a Smash Brothers one. Right. You got. That'd be awesome. God. Batman, Robin, Batgirl. Mr. Freeze, Poison Ivy, Bane. That's six player characters. So are we, are we watching Catwoman? Oh, yeah. Why? Just because it fits with Batman Robin? No. Uh, it's a bad because movie. Because it's, hey, it's, it, oh, it's kind of like have, a... We only have four we could do, right? We're doing them once a month, and we're picking Catwoman? Uh, There's so many What are you talking ones. about? We're doing this for like six, 15, 16 weeks. What? Every, yeah, this is comic book season. 16 weeks of comic book movies? Uh, yeah. yeah. What are yeah. you... Crazy? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, hey, Brett, remember when you signed up to do a podcast about... I don't remember signing, movies? no. I remember showing up and you're like, guess what, you're in the podcast now. And I'm like... Oh, uh, yeah, we didn't actually tell you we were starting a podcast. Oh, no. no, and then I just kept showing up and I'm like, what the f*** am I doing? We told you. <laughs> we told you we were going to start a podcast no. eventually. No, we did. No, we, we didn't really. Uh, yeah, we did. We mentioned it to you. We, no, we, th- we mentioned we were thinking... But we also should... you did not mention that I was going to be in that podcast. Well, yeah, yeah, when I you were coming to the movies... Yeah, that doesn't mean I'm going to be... Well, I am here. Yeah. I mean, All right, anyways, George Clooney <laughs> has also been known to refund people who saw this movie in person. <laughs> hey, 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 George. I yeah. love him. Hey, Mr. Clooney. Hey, George, you, you got some? You got something for us, buddy? How do you... How do you... Uh, Give him the ticket stub. Yeah, we didn't... I don't have a ticket stub for this. How do you... 
how do you quantify time? Yeah, in extrapolate money? No, that? No, yeah, he exactly. He <laughs> is a stand-up guy. Like that was. I know. Cool. I love him. Um, do you know oh. who else was almost chosen before George Clooney? David Duchovny. Oh. I think just based off the whole X Files, that they thought huh. he could fit for Batman. Yeah, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Not this Batman. He's got a chin. He could. He's got a chin. He, he does have a chin. He could have done a type of Batman in the '90s that would have been. He interesting. wouldn't have been able to do this Batman. But yeah, not this Batman. A Batman that was really 100 percent positive that those supernatural things were really happening. <laughs> well, I mean, the, the truth <laughs> he, is out there. He could have done a, a Tim Burton Batman, I think. Maybe. I don't think he has the voice for it. <laughs> Even George Clooney is quoted saying after filming was over. I think we just killed the franchise. <laughs> <laughs> and he was right for eight years. I All right. how self-aware he is. <laughs> oh, yeah. So funny. Just filming stops, and that's a wrap. And he's like, oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's it? Wait, that's it? That's all we're doing? We can't fix all that in post. Oh, wait, wow. We didn't fix any of it in post. This is also terrible. I mean, it, it, it kind of feels like a teenager's movie, doesn't it? Like a real, like almost like like you'd see the movie posters up in someone's locker in ho- in high school or something. It says here the film was originally going to be titled Batman Forever, but stylized as Batman Number Four Ever. Well, yeah, duh. Ugh, because it was the fourth movie. That is so cheesy. Can you imagine a Batman movie being Batman Number Four Ever? Well, I can imagine. Yeah, it. I can imagine. Uh, it. I can also. Very I can imagine a lot of things. Uh, you know who was the third choice to play Mr. Freeze? Was Hulk Hogan. That would have been awesome. <laughs> I am un... Yeah, man, that wouldn't play quite as well nowadays. I want a, <laughs> I want a, a recut of this movie. You better chill, brother. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. With David Duchovny and Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Oh, man. All I just have to do is get enough money and force them into it somehow. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so we're going to watch Catwoman. Catwoman. Boo! Because apparently there's no discussion. Yeah, and not you only know that, what? can we cut it down to like maybe eight weeks? Nope, no. That's two f- months of comic book sh- movies. Uh, yeah, three how about half. three and a half? Well, that may uh, be until, of, uh, until next week. Until next week. Uh, oh, weeks, and right. uh, subscribe to us on uh, Stitcher. On Stitcher on and iTunes and Google Play Music. Which we are now on. And tell yeah. your friends. DTL tell, podcast. Tell them it, a very funny podcast yeah. with three <coughs> Carrie gentlemen. Well, a and pretty you, funny podcast. You can, yeah. A you decently can, funny podcast. Some <laughs> people think it's funny. Um, yeah, you can find all those places at DTLpodcast.com. Also, goodbye. Well, I can respect your opinion. Sadly, I'm not good at rejection. I'm afraid you'll have to die. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>